You know, a jerk bait is, is simply a deadly year-round presentation, particularly, you know, in the springtime during the spawn. But a lot of guys overlook it and put it away during the summer months, and that just might be one of the best times of the year to be using it because you can fish these things super erratic. You can get them to really dance and move quickly. And fish are chasing down minnows all summer long. So this is a Rapala ripstop. This thing is a, would you be considered a kind of a finesse jerk bait. It's got a little bit smaller profile, but it's just got a deadly action. When you jerk it, it literally just stops on a dime and then does a little shimmy and slowly rises head up. But we've had tremendous success fishing jerk baits all year in, in part because they, they are so versatile. You can fish them fast. You can slow them down. You can fish them near the surface and you can fish them a little bit deeper. But the bottom line is minnows are, are deadly all year. Uh, an original floater would be a good option now, but I do prefer a bait that I can throw a little bit more lateral action into, like a jerk bait such as this ripstop, during the summer months because the fish are moving fast. They're a cold-blooded animal, but when the water temps are 80, boy, that's when they're, they're high octane. And you know, equipment for jerkbait fishing, spinning gear works great, a medium power rod with a fast tip. I do prefer casting gear myself, you know, a 610, um, fast tip, medium power. And I have, I have the reel spooled up here with 12 pound fluorocarbon. Just a good all around combination for fishing these jerkbaits. Ooh, I got him, cool. Yeah, the bait hit the water and I saw the fish respond. We got to this outer bend and now we're just constantly in fish. So these, these river smallmouth are pretty migratory, man. They, they'll cover a lot of river miles in a day to get to where they're comfortable and we've kind of found a good zone right now. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll mark this. We'll keep that for future reference. This particular little outside bend has all the current and habitat. This isn't a this isn't a giant, so I'm not gonna try to do a lip grab on him, but you can see the old jerk bait's a pretty good hooking bait too. What we've been noticing today is I've been able to move a, a pile of fish on these jerk baits, meaning they're following the bait boat side. So that reveals where fish are living, you know, and if they're not biting the bait, then we can come back and fish something different. They're at least showing themselves, and a good number of them are biting the bait too. So a lot, of, a lot of versatility to a jerk bait during the summer. But moving that bait pretty aggressively, getting a lot of follows doing that, getting a lot of bites doing that. But if I want to, I can just go into a straight and steady retrieve like that and then just periodically stop that bait. Almost fishing it like you would a, a finesse swim bait. And that unique tail design on this bait, it just stops on a dime. But unlike a swim bait, it stays suspended in the water column. It doesn't sink out of their strike window. So if you got a following fish, I'll just kill it like that, and it just stays right in their face, and that can be a deadly retrieve too. Ooh, got him! Doubles. So this is where I'm going to spot lock. We got multiple fish. We're coming into this outer bend right here. The water moves a lot swifter. I can see that there's some rock and gravel on the shoreline there, and this inside bend's real stagnant. And as we were talking about a little earlier, these smallmouth actually want some moving water. They like current. They're more efficient predators in that environment. So Kyle hooked up on top water. I just hooked up on the rip stop. Just gotta be real careful with these jerk baits and these warm water fish can move real quick on you. One good way to grab these smallmouth is just kind of cradle them like this. All right, there we go. Not a giant, but just a nice one, you know? I'll take these pound and a half, two pounders all day long in the river. Still put up a good fight and acrobatic in warm water. Pretty one. So this is one of the benefits of low water, guys, is you can see you can see the cover that the fish live on throughout the year. And right in front of me, there's a nice big smallmouth right there, and he was sitting on this old stump. But what I'm gonna do on a big piece of isolated cover like this, because this is always a fish holding magnet, I'm just gonna come right over the top of it, literally, and I have an internal GPS in this hook nine, and I'm just gonna mark a waypoint. So now I have a good waypoint marking that. I know there's something there that could be a hazard that I'll avoid when I'm going up river. And if it's a hazard, it's also gonna be a good fish holding spot. So I'll avoid this spot while I'm running and then also pay attention to this spot when we're drifting back down and make sure we cast to that general area. And another feature that Lawrence gives you when you wanna enter a waypoint is the ability to change that icon or name the waypoint. But changing an icon 
adds a little context to whatever you're marking. So I might want to put the skull with crossbones on there for a hazard if I was pretty concerned about hitting that with my motor. So as you can see on the screen now, I'll zoom in a little bit more. As I'm running up river, you know, that's a hazard. That's something to watch out for. So using icons just adds information to the waypoint so you got a better idea of what it actually marks. Here we go, nice one, man. Big one. There is what we're looking for, guys, yeah. I'm gonna definitely hold this here. Kyle's gotta, look at him. Yeah. I mean, this is, <clears throat> This is what really does it for Kyle and I, you know, when it comes to river fishing. The quality of the fish that you can consistently catch is tough to beat. The fitness, the toughness of the fish is tough to beat, and the overall beauty of the surroundings make it a day that's tough to beat. That's a nice smallmouth bass. And we're gonna keep catching them.